And in this collection of photographs, we have 100 photographs of weird cars, prototypes, concept cars and one-offs. And we begin with an Amphicar, seen here in action. A German-built car, but actually with Triumph Herald engine hidden under its bonnet. That is followed by BUC 515, which is a Wright Craft scooter car. This car, this diminutive little car, is from 1935. To Bista Heritage now, YXG 269, that is a 1950 air cooled Flat 4 Tatra T600. This strange machine is a Land Rover that once belonged to Bertram Mill Circus. The driver would hide in the back and a real live elephant would sit on the front pretending to drive. Two photos now of MSU 936. This is a 1951 IOTA 350 Sports. IOTA, or IOTA, uh, were perhaps better known for their 500c racing cars after the war. And TGK193, this is a Paramount, this is from 1956. Uh, this example powered by a four-cylinder overhead valve Ford engine. Originally they had the Ford 10 side valve engine. Next we go now to Gaydon. And this was a proposal produced or proposed by BMC, a convertible version of the Austin A30. Never went into production, of course. Talking of convertibles, here's a Mumford converted Morris Marina TC. This was at Goodwood Revival several years ago. This is the GM General Motors Future Liner. Twelve of these were built in all, uh, used for promotional purposes either side of World War II. And 167YUJ, that's an Alfa Romeo Giulietta Sprint Special of 1961. Beautiful little car. And this handsome machine, this is a wartime Humber staff car. Very unusual car now, very rarely seen. Next up, the prototype development car, the gas turbine car, as used by Rover, a proposal to uh, power the Rover P6 by the gas turbine engine. Back to Goodwood Revival in 2006, this is a frisky sport micro car. Very unusual little car, and a rare survivor now. To Gaydon and the Mini Celebration several years ago, this is a Unipower GT 1275cc engine, around 70 of them were built. Goodwood again, 2006, and this is a Wartburg 311. This particular car was uh, used in the Man From Uncle film a few years ago, two-stroke powered. Also at Goodwood, BLE 718. That's a handsome Rolls-Royce-based ice cream van. One of a collection of Land Rovers to star at the Revival a few years ago is CSL 994. This is a one-off Tickford-bodied Land Rover of 1949. Answers on the postcard, please. This particular Schmidt seems to have a rear-mounted propeller-driven engine. And here we have a very handsome BMW 501. These were built from 1952 to 1958. BMC 9X, this was a proposal for a mini replacement. Came to nothing, another Isagonist idea. But perhaps sort of led on to the Metro eventually. Back to Goodwood and we've got a Peel P50. Probably one of the smallest cars ever produced, three-wheeler. This from 1964. Another BMW, this one in a storage container. And it's a BMW 507 from 1956 to 1959. These were powered by a 3.2 litre V8. And back to Gaydon, we've got another gas turbine car. This was another development car, as used by Rover back in the 1960s. More micro car goodness, this is an AC Petite. These were powered by a little Villiers engine, 350cc, and built between 1952 and 1957. Very unusual car. Staying with weird looking cars, we've got the mighty Allard P2 Safari. Very strange looking car indeed. Was this a one-off or were one, more than one built? If you could let me know please. 
is a definite one-off. This was a development car from the 1970s based on the MGB GT. Various safety-related ideas being tested out there. And then we've got a side-on view of a Tatra 603. Air-cooled V8 hung out in the tail. These were built from 1955 to 1975. Back to microcars. And this unusual machine is a 1959 Opperman Sterling. Back to Gaydon, SNX36. This is a 1955 Road Rover prototype. Obviously, back in the 1950s, Rover were already thinking about producing a more road-based version of the Land Rover. And this intriguing machine was spotted in the Portuguese Museum. It's a 1953 Pegasso V8-powered sports car. And this is definitely a one-off. This is Baby Bertha, Jerry Marshall's old Firenze race car from the 1970s. Back to three wheels, D-Reg 1966, this is a little Invercar. It's an Invercar Model 57 to be precise. Staying with small things, we've got a Vespa 400, this is from 1961. And a pair of Wartburgs, quite an impressive equipe there. Rally car on the back of a Wartburg transporter. I'm sure that must have been a one-off. Another intriguing machine. This is a Rover P6 by Radford. Uh, round about the time that Rover took over Alvis. And this was a proposal for a new Alvis, which came to nothing. And a slightly modified Jaguar XJS. This car featured in the Top Gear India Special a few years back. Lots more weird cars and prototypes, etc. coming along. And this is a Brutch Mopetta from 1957. Based on the Austin Princess now, this is the Ogle designed triplex 1020 glassback concept car. Where uh, uh, experimentation with curved glass etc was in full swing. And we spotted this at the Brooklyn's Museum not long ago. This is a jet powered runway de-icer. The jet engine in the back and the exhaust was vented out at the front. Back to the Gaydon, the British Motor Museum, JLR 490. That's the Nuffield Gutty, one of two built prototype for the Austin Champ as as it became. Two photos now of LU3956. This is a recreation of the 1933 Auto Union. An amazing looking car. This was at Carfest several years ago. Definitely a one-off rebuilt and recreated a few years ago by Audi. Another classic car prototype. This was a fastback proposal for the Triumph TR7. Again at the British Motor Museum at Gaydon where you can see many of these cars. And to Goodwood once more, an Appeal Trident. This one from 1965, C registration. Not ideal on a hot day, I wouldn't have thought. And the magnificent Forest Rover, an outside conversion uh, from 1964. Here we have a Gogomobile. This is a 1959 car, the TS400 four-wheeler Gogomobile. There was a huge collection of micro cars and three-wheelers at Goodwood a few years ago. Now we're off to Whitby and a very well-known in the area Land Rover ice cream delivery van. Very smart indeed. F registration, so that'd be 1967-68. Back to the Portuguese museum that I mentioned before. This is an original wartime Kubelwagen. And the reserve collection at Gaydon, this is ECV3, the 1981 prototype, an energy conservation vehicle, three-cylinder CVT transmission, aerodynamic, designed with uh, fuel saving in mind. And then next up we've got a 1956 Rollera Francaise microcar, France being home to many interesting microcars. Back to Portugal, and this is a one-off 1952 Alba sports stroke racing car. Very handsome little car indeed. The tracked version of a Land Rover Series 2 now. Back at the British Motor Museum. Definitely an interesting car. 
This was at Carfest at Alton Park a few years ago. This was badged up as a Citroen Maserati, and on checking it has a 2.7 litre engine, so presumably the Maserati engine that went into the Citroen SM. To Goodwood, and an F registration Subaru 360 micro car. The rear view now of CKU928. This handsome machine is a 1938 Triumph Vitesse. This was at the VSCC meeting at Prescott Hill Climb a few years ago. And to Bruntingthorpe, one time home of the Vulcan XH558. And here we've got an F registration Tatra 613, 3.5 litre V8, air cooled, rear mounted engine built from 1974 to 96. To the NEC Classic Show, and this is a DKW Shalasta F89 van built from 1949 to 1962. POG 586G. This is a 1968 Austin Ant prototype, a leisure utility vehicle that was proposed by BMC. And this unusual machine is a Mini Metro Cooper, a Cooper version of the Metro. This was a proposal that came to nothing following in the wheel tracks of the Mini Cooper, of course, from the 1960s. And then the Allard Clipper, Great little three-wheeler from the 1950s. Allard, better known for its sports cars, but they did dabble with the microcar world. And here's a recreation rebuilt uh, S76 Fiat, the Beast of Turin. A fire-breathing monster often to be seen at VSCC events and such like. And this is the P34 six-wheeled Grand Prix car, the Tyrrell from the mid-1970s. This particular car in the livery of Patrick Depaye. It's a Goodwood Revival again, and this is a Honda T360. This was a prototype pickup, um, dating to 1964. Interesting conversion attachment on a Series 1 Land Rover here. A saw bench. Continuing with very unusual cars, we've got the 1957 Isetta 400 weight pickup. Very much a very lightweight pickup delivery vehicle. And back to the Gaiden Reserve collection. This is a booted proposal for the Austin Mini Metro. Very similar to the Vauxhall Nova Saloon, which did go into production, but this particular car never did. And when one straight eight engine isn't good enough, you got two. And this is the Alfa Romeo BMO Tori. One supercharged straight eight in the front and another in the tail. Back to Austin Princesses, which we've already touched upon. This was a proposal for a Vandenplas version of the Princess, which never happened. A convertible conversion now on a classic Range Rover. I believe one of the owners, one of the former owners, was Roger Daltrey of The Who. This particular car, that chumley pageant of power. And this cute little machine is a 1960 BSA Ladybird. BSA, perhaps better known for its motorcycles, of course. Birmingham Small Arms, as was. GK363. This is a 1930 Talbot, built up as a London ambulance. Continuing with unusual cars, we've got an ambulance again. This one based on a Range Rover chassis. T registration, so that would be 1978 or 1979, thereabouts. And this is a very much restored Mini Crayford convertible. This car was found as a complete wreck several years ago and was restored back to as new condition. This is the Triumph Italia, a rebodied version of a 1950s Triumph. Continuing with these one-offs, we've got KWK348D. This is the ADO34 concept, an MG sports car, mini-based. Answers on a postcard, please, about this Pontiac. Very much remodelled at the front. Uh, if you can tell me more, please pop a note into the comments section. Definitely a one-off. Back to Goodwood, and we've got a 1954 Klein Schnitger F125. The view out with the roof up was not great. To the NEC Classic Car Show once again, and this is the original Fiat Multipler. Rear hinged front doors, very practical little car. And to Silverstone Classic, and we've got the Shell liveried standard Atlas pickup truck. Very rare machine indeed. Note the triangulation between the cab and the rear bed. 
And this sporty little number was the Austin Zander, a proposal for a sporty little Austin or Morris that came to nothing sadly. And ONW122B, this is a Neckar Weinsberg, basically an NSU Fiat uh, based on the Fiat 500. And NAB 953D, this is the IWR Lotus Elan, IWR for Ian Walker Racing. Back to the NEC, not the best photo in the world, but this is a Rover P5B based camper. A motorhome or caravanette, definitely a one-off and fitting in with this particular video. And a very rare four-wheel BMW micro car now. Hmm, more answers on the postcard please. This is a road legal drivable office desk. This video is all about weird cars, prototypes, concept cars and one-offs. So uh, these two definitely fit in and here we've got a potting shed on wheels. To the Silverstone Classic now, and this amazing Rover P6 is the Traco Olds. This was powered by a 4.3 litre Oldsmobile engine, allegedly capable of 176 miles an hour. And back to Gaydon, and this is the Leyland 8 GE, or the Rover P6 BS. The proposal for a rear-engined Rover powered sports car aimed at the American market. And the Graeber bodied Elvis is next, this particular drophead coupe, a very handsome machine. GJ3811, a Bentley Speed 6 Blue Train Special from 1930, 6.5 litre engine. A Taurus Transit, not a Ford Transit, this is a clone built Taurus Transit. These were built from 1953 through to 65. RAR49R, this is another Invercar, this is a 1977 car. Very few of these left, but once upon a time they were quite a common sight. Back to the British Motor Museum and a proposal for an estate car version of the Rover SD1, this particular car from 1975. Talking of estate cars, etc., this is a Hearst conversion on a Rover 3 litre, the P5, circa 1964, I believe. Interesting little D-seamed Mini, possibly wooden picket or similar. Um, if you can confirm or deny this, please pop a note again into the comment section. Early Mini 1962. That's followed by a very unusual Citroen GS pickup. The only one of these I've ever seen. Was it a one-off? Was it a factory job? Or was this by an outside concern? I don't know. This is certainly a one-off. This Morris Minor 752X UK. This has a Morris 10 XPAG engine under its bonnet. And then we've got XPD805. This is an Argson Invalid Tricycle. And finally, we have, well, what do we have here? This was spotted at the roadside in Portugal. We have a jet engine sat in the remains of a Citroen Diane. Was this a jet-powered Citroen, or was it just going to be an easy way of moving a jet engine around? Well, probably. Never know. And that particular photograph rounds out this collection of 100 photos of weird cars, prototypes, concept cars, and one-off classic cars. Thank you very much for watching. Please check out some of the other videos that are on the channel, and there'll be more videos uploaded very soon. Bye for now.